Hey folks and welcome back to another one. In today's video, I'm going rainbow trail fishing with my buddy Nick. Later on in the video, I went fishing with my dad and his buddy and another day with just my dad. We didn't catch a lot of fish those days, so I'm just gonna sum up the fish catches during those two days and put them at the end of this video. But overall, it was a great day of fishing with Nick. We managed to land four rainbows, two really nice males, so stay tuned for those. And remember folks, if you enjoy rainbow trout fishing, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'll also be trying to get out as many bass fishing videos as I can in the future and other species of fish. I also upload a lot of hunting videos and a lot of gun review videos. So if you really enjoy all that kind of stuff, pretty much just anything outdoorsy, hit the subscribe button down below. You won't be disappointed. All right, now without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. All right, folks, we're here to the river. As soon as we came down here, we spotted uh, about three or four rainbows here. Nick's trying to drift in front of them right now. See if he can get one. Yeah, maybe try and cast like, like five feet in front of them if you can. Yeah, perfect. If they're gonna eat, they're gonna eat that. Got one? Nice, buddy. Nick's got the first fish on. Not a giant, but still a fish. There we go. Little female for the first fish. Oh, little male, actually. Hey guys, the first male of the day, a little rainbow. There he goes. Nice quick release. Good fish, brother. There you go. Another fish, another day. You like this river already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna cast here again at these fish, maybe try the non-floater because they don't seem to be too active on the uh, Floating. They did, but I don't know if they're. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Maybe they do like the floating. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit bigger. Yeah. Here, don't bother walking in. I'll just bring her here. Oh, that's a big boy. Dude. Holy. <laughs> That's a nice fish, Chris. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's out here. It's a big male. Oh, he's so nice, dude. Nice colors on him. Nice dark. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Watch, watch, watch. There you go. Got it. <laughs> Let's go, bro. That's a beast, eh? Uh, yeah. uh, probably about eight pounds. Yeah, that's, eight yeah, it's half. definitely, it's definitely up there. Oh, uh, she ripped my spawn sack yeah. apart. Beautiful. Beautiful male. <sighs> Hooked right on the corner. Yeah. There we go. Another big fish, nice big meal. male, seven, eight pounds, easy. He's just She's leaving, man. busting a nut right now, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna go get him back so he can bust a nut on some eggs. And there he goes. Today I'm fishing with my Ugly Stick GX2, six foot medium. It's great for fighting these fish in rivers, and I like these short rods because it lets you go up into these deep, uh, woody covered rivers to get some good easy casting. Longer rods are like a pain to go into the thick trees and stuff. 
Nick's running a seven foot ugly stick carbon. He's got a Daiwa BG reel on and I'm just using a Sienna Shimano 2500 here. Yeah, both 2500. Both 2500 size. That's good enough for rainbow trout fishing. You can go a bit bigger if you're fishing in deeper water and stuff, but for here, 2500 is perfect. We're just running some row bags today. These ones got floaters in it to get it off the bottom. You could use non-floating ones, but I like the floating ones preferably in these pools and stuff. Little size six or size eight octopus hook, preferably Gamagatsu. And then we got like a little split shot here. Not very little, it's a big split shot because it's a strong curtain here. Oh, oh. what is that? That's cage. That's a keep cage? it, keep it, keep it, yes. keep it. Yep, that's cage. I've never seen a cage. That's cage all day, bro. All right, guys. I just caught my first ever cage. My first ever cage. Well, a beautiful cage fish. Definitely gonna be on my dinner plate tonight. All right, folks. So this is the fish that Nick caught last. It's a little cage fish, and when I say cage fish, I mean it's a fish that was born in a hatchery and escaped. These fish are genetically modified to grow at a faster pace compared to other wild fish because these fish are bred for like restaurants and for people to eat them. So when they escape, they get really big really fast, but they also come into these rivers here. And that's why I like taking these especially is because they come into these rivers and they eat the eggs off of the wild ones. And people might be saying, well, why are you keeping these? Can't they reproduce? Well, I've actually never seen them be able to reproduce before. They develop a little bit of eggs, but they never escape the scheme. They get very small, they never develop. So they can never actually make eggs themselves. So they're perfect for eating. They're like great eating fish, like beautiful red meat. When the, tasty. They're very tasty. When the ones come up from like the wild ones come into the rivers, they turn white meat. Their meat doesn't taste as good. It's, it becomes more fishy. It's not as good tasting. So definitely if you're out here, or anywhere on Lake Huron. I'm not sure if they have them on other Great Lakes, but eating these rainbow trout from the cages is so much better because personally, I don't like the fishy tasting white meat and I like to put those ones back anyways to reproduce for the future. Fish like this, I have no problem taking. Like I said, they eat the eggs of the wild ones. They're perfect eaters, they don't breed. Nothing about them is worth literally leaving them in here. When they escape, they're pretty much like a, a stock roll. trout in a, <laughs> stocked body of water that they want you to take and eat them from like stock spec uh, brook trout lakes stock rainbow lakes they're not going to reproduce in those lakes they want you to go there they're for put and eat so when these escape it's the same scenario you want to take these and eat but the way to tell the difference is they have a very bluish green back to them they have a very pale stripe you can't really see it and they don't have as many dots they're very silvery like I said, not many dots compared to a wild one. The wild one will have it, uh, the dots extending past the uh, center rainbow line there, the red line. These ones usually stop at the red line. So that's how you differentiate between the two, especially right now when they're spawning, you can really tell the difference between a cage fish and a wild one. So this is perfect for eating and just taking it home and that's gonna taste delicious. You know you've moved quietly when you're right on top of one. Dude, I'm gonna grab it with my hand. Huh? No! <laughs> no, it's rainbows, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on, baby. Munch it. Munch it. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Yeah. No. He he brought it down.
No! Oh. You ready for a run, my dude? No, I know. Atta boy. Let's go. Good net, man. Another nice male. It's probably another five, six pound fish. Nice, beautiful, dark colors on him. He's making more of the, uh, the forbidden milk. Let's get him back so he can go bust a nut. Can't cock lock, right? Let's go. There he goes. Okay. Yep. Right. That was random. There's a rainbow. That's about what? Four pounds, Chris? I don't say so. Yep. Nice. Male. He's going back. Came off. I lost mine. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, Chris, you think this is a key? As if it's orange. Yeah. It's small though.
we go. That's Polino's first fish of the day. Nice little buck. Oh yeah, it's okay. There you go. No, the fish. No, you don't. No way. Just watch that ledge there, eh? Yeah, where is it? Fish is out there. Is that... <gasps> Balance? I think so. Watch that rocks. She's a... I kind of want to get over there with deeper... Oh, no, no, no. Watch. Oh, I need a slap. You know what? Hey, where's the best place? This way or that way? Worry about the rocks, not where you're going. Once you get her up here, you're fine. Up here? Yeah, once you get her above the, this little ledge here, you're fine. Yeah, but it's a cage. I think so. That's cage. There we go. Nice like little one, two pound rainbow trout. That's a cage fish. We're going to be keeping this one to eat. It's a beautiful red meat rainbow. So that's perfect for cooking. <laughs> all right, folks, that's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. It gets my videos out there to more people. Hit that subscribe button because it supports my channel and comment any questions or anything you generally like to say, because I will always respond to all the comments on my videos. So have a good one, folks. Take care.